Hi everyone, this is NZ Tech Freak once again with a video for AndroidNZ.net. This time just to supplement a piece that we posted last night about a beta for a new version of PowerAmp which is a pretty significant upgrade over the old one which for many of you was already the go-to music player for Android and for very good reason. Uh, it's got an excellent EQ, it also has a preamp so you can actually boost the volume of your the volume output of your handset a little bit um, and also options like crossfading and gapless playback which are largely absent from Android music players. Now what you're looking at here is the reworked lock screen. In fact it's pretty similar to the lock screen you're accustomed to seeing for uh, PowerAmp but here we've now got the option to rate tracks and to set shuffle and repeat um, right from the lock screen. If we unlock the screen and it's going to take us through to the new 4x4 large size widget pretty similar in look and feel to the other one although I notice now there's a really nice touch in that at the time you're selecting the widget you actually have the option of which skin you want to apply to the widget for display on your home screens. If we jump into the player itself uh, we can see that the user interface is really being cleaned up and this was one of the only complaints that any users really had about Paramp was that the user interface was a wee bit cluttered and not that intuitive to use and this beta has already made significant inroads into the usability stakes. Uh, you can see really nice large album art now if you touch the screen there your controls for repeat, shuffle, rating and the EQ all come into play. Um, that's sort of taken from Samsung's stock player and something I really like gives you a nice big clean picture of the album art and then you still got all the controls available at a single touch should you need them. Uh, just to show the EQ itself, um, I'm just going to pump the volume up a little bit. So this is with the EQ off obviously. If we jump into the EQ itself we can see that adding the EQ on, this is on a rock setting, uh, changes the sound quality a lot. And this is the preamp setting, and we're just going to show you the sort of volume increase you can get out of your handset using power amp. So as you can see, pretty dramatic. And likewise, if we roll up the bass, I think you can see and appreciate there the, the real difference in bass output that we're getting by changing those settings. So this has always been a really great feature of Power Amp. Other things that we can see, uh, we now have Lyrics Lookup by way of an add-on, which is a really nice thing to have and wasn't available in the previous versions of PowerAmp. And of course, the usual absolute plethora of settings, um, including your crossfade, replay gain, buffer size, audio focus, etc, etc. So there's heaps here. In terms of the music playback, it's a really deep program and you can't do better in Android. Um, I guess Player Pro is starting to become pretty featureful itself, but I think for me, uh, still doesn't really equal or, or top power amp by any means. One other thing I did want to show was how well this thing reads tags. And if we go to the info tags, we can see that this is a FLAC encoded track, which is supported natively on the Galaxy S2. Um, and what you can actually see here is it's actually correctly reading all the tags, including the genre tag. And this has been a problem for the Galaxy handsets with respect to FLAC sets, um, FLAC tagged uh, sounds for a long time. And the other thing, and this is a big one for me, is that it can finally read genre tags properly. If we go in and head to the library, go into genres, you can see that I've got a heavy metal tag here, and a few custom tags, things like uh, Kiwi and instrumental that maybe aren't that standard. In comparison, if we jump out of this player and head to the stock player, what you're going to see is it's picked up some of my custom tags like Kiwi, 
but other things like instrumental are nowhere to be seen. And even a really common music tag, metal, is actually not picked up by the stock player. And instead, it's put all of my metal music here with rock. Now, I like to put on a genre and shuffle it, whatever genre takes my fancy at the time, and that has been exceedingly annoying. And the real problem has been that all other players have previously taken their cues from whatever the stock player does with respect to reading tags. So this is Player Pro, which is also a very good and capable me media player in itself. But if we go through, we'll see it's picked up Kiwi, just like the stock player. The instrumental tag is nowhere to be found. And if we jump into Rock, we can see it's put my metal albums with my rock albums, much to my annoyance, like the stock player. So that's just a very quick walkthrough of this new version of Power Amp. I think it's really excellent and for me has significantly upgraded on the previous experience. Now replacing any other player as my go-to player largely because it can actually read tags properly, uh, which is a real boon. So that's the new beta for Power Amp. You can read more about this at AndroidNZ.net, including finding some links to download the new APK for the beta to install on your device for yourself. So happy music listening with Power Amp. This is NZ Tech Freaks signing off for AndroidNZ.net.